Hi, I'm Nightshade, and that's my mom. Hello, I'm Sophie, and that's my daughter. This is going to be messages from Hecate. All right, this is our special deck that we have for Goddess Hecate. Mm -hmm. So let's see if she has a message for y'all out there. Let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Ooh. let's see. Well, they all came out. So, let me put them here. All right. Oh, oh, this is the one that fell out earlier. The Ace of Hearts. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's For pretty. Can you see that? The Ace of Hearts. Oh, oh my God. The Jack no, of Hearts. No, this is Ace of Spades. Oh, is it spades? Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking. Oh, it is spades. Saying, Sorry. It is spades. Sorry, spades. I figured y'all knew that. And by looking look at, at it, this. You know what that looks like. Ace of spades. Um, the jack of spades. So, yeah, I was thinking we've got uh, messages and, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The eight of spades. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got some. And, uh, oh my goodness, the Jack of Spades. The King, the King of, of spades. spades. I don't know why I, I knew that was King. The King of Spades. Look at all four of those. Wow. It, because there's some, there's like prison, there's uh, sickness, there's. Look at this King right here. This picture is going to mean something to somebody. Just this picture in and of itself with that king. Wow. That's a, that's a message right there for somebody. I mean, the ace of spades, the jack of spades, the eight of spades, and the king of spades. I mean, someone is really, like, praying for deliverance. They're really in a prison. Oh. Uh, they've been, they've been unduly put in prison. Uh, what am I saying? They've been falsely accused of something of something yeah if that's it well let's see let's see what else the cards have to say there's i a, mean you do have uh, something about this rings um not specifically like a uh, real prison is, this is the to me this is somebody who's like a santeria or voodoo somebody who 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 has saints a catholic catholics Oh, uh, voodoo, because they have the, like, the Orishas, um, who else has saints? The Santeria, because they have a lot of Catholicism in Santeria. I don't know a lot about a whole lot of different, um, religions, religions uh, schools uh, of thought, stuff like that. Catholics are very much saints. But there's a saint in here. Someone's praying to the saints for help. There's somebody who, yeah, it may have something to do with prison, Somebody's been falsely accused. Somebody's been like, um, this is your, this is your, um, this is going to mean something to somebody. This person, is this like a, per, is this a tattoo that somebody has or something? Because we're looking, the person we're reading for is this person. Whether she is male or female is, I mean, we, we don't live in that kind of world now, do we? <laughs> so it's up to you. Um. And there's inner, there's an intercessor, there's a saint. You're praying to a saint for deliverance for from a person. Is this their tattoo? Something about this is the person you're trying to get away from, get, get, or the person who falsely accused you. This is the dirty deed doer right here. And you might not even be in an actual prison. It's just a prison of your thoughts. In your mind. Uh, of what's been done to is this you. Your You're being boyfriend? looked at by people. Is this your boyfriend, uncle, husband? There's like a man, man in your life. A big male influence. And this is him. 
but there's something about this picture that's like, this is his tattoo, or he's got like a big skull with a top hat tattoo, or wears a shirt like this or something, it's like something. Yeah. There's something about this picture right here. If this picture means something to you, go, oh, that's my boyfriend's tattoo, or that reminds me of, so yada, 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 the then spade, that's who it is. The spade on it could also be the spade on it. Uh, could be a tattoo, a spade. And you may not but know, you'll know. You may be starting to put two and two together that this person is like a really evil influence, a really bad influence. Talking. This person, this person has led you astray. Yes, and talked about you behind your back and put you in the situation that you're in yes. that you're trying to be delivered from. Are we getting it to, across to you? <laughs> We're trying. Are we trying here? We're trying We're to trying. read the cards. They're coming through. Let's get some more cards you out. You have been put in a position where you feel completely trapped. Like she said, it could be prison. It could be just the prison in your mind. You feel like you can't go anywhere. You feel like you it can't do anything. It could be a prison because of just what's being done to you. What's exactly. Happening. That's this. But you're, this person is the one that caused it. This person is the one that said. This person is the one that's doing. And it has something to do with this. This skull is going to be like a reminder to somebody. And this is your clue of who it is. Okay? So. It's somebody at one point that you trusted. Yeah, it's somebody you trusted. I, and Rosenstein. Why am I getting a feeling it's somebody who's quick, quick with words, too? Um, and that would make sense. He's the king of spades. But I'm seeing this Rosen, stock, Rosen, whatever, at the bottom down there. See that Rosen thing right here? So it's, and it's reminding me of, like, Gildan, Rosencrantz and Gildenstern, which is, I don't know why it's reminding me of that right now, but it is. This person is like a super manipulative. Yeah, the five of clubs. So you got double fives on the table now. Yeah. So you've got a super, super manipulative person who's like. Oh, if, look at that. Look at that. They, I don't know, they what is that, have. Fanny pack? <laughs> they, they have taken advantage of you. Yeah. No, no they have taken advantage of your. Uh, Sweetness, your innocence. Your naivety. Your, Na and, how do you say it? You'd say naivete, but yeah, same okay. thing. Yeah, na yeah. Your, your naive nature. You're very, um, you're very Ooh. religiously oriented, and they have taken the ten of diamonds, the religion to they're they're get behind your back. They're taking you to the cleaners, so to speak. They're bad mouthing you. Yeah, they're, they're really bad mouthing. They're taking you. everything that you have, but they think it's funny. It's almost like this person is a trickster even to themselves. This person is so quick-witted and so quick with words that they're even telling you stuff to your face, but it's almost like they're doing it like... Because they don't, they don't think what? that... I'm trying to come up to get, to get a word. Yeah, they don't think you understand what they're saying. The two and you kind of don't. You don't understand that the... And the six of diamonds. That them being funny is actually being cruel. And they're being truthful. Yes, and they're telling you who they are, but they're disguising it as funny, but they're being truthful, and they're being very cruel to you right to your face. And you're you're eating the poison. That's what this is. That's what that skull and crossbones is. The, you're eating the poison. Oh, I hope that's figurative and not literal, because there's a lot of people who will... Who will do crazy? We're this is Hecate's world, so that that's the reason why we do these specific messages with these specific cards, because Hecate, remember, <laughs> she's gonna bring out the uh, down and dirty, for real. That's going on, and somebody is being used. They're being manipulated. They're being uh, told lies, and they're being lied about. Yeah, they're not only are they doing it to your face, like disguising everything as funny when they're telling you, ha, shut up, fat ass, or whatever they're saying to you, whatever it is. And, and, and criticizing your, your beliefs too. They're criticizing your beliefs. They're criticizing like your religious 
naivety, your upbringing, the way you think, the way you're, you're so forgiving, you're so sweet, and they're just making fun of you to your face, but disguising it as funny. Go um, ahead. Sorry. No, no, that's just a. They're doing it's it. It's an both evil. Ways. It's an evil, it's a person very evil person who is taking advantage of you, this using person you. Is pure poison. They're taking you to the cleaners. They're gonna. Uh, you're gonna wake up one day. They're gonna be gone, and everything you have is gonna be gone. And they're laughing at you. Yeah, behind your back, they're laughing at you to other people. But you're you're beginning to take notice. Yeah, thank you. You're, you're, but let's you're see what the cards say because you need to be clever about this. Yeah, this isn't. Um, you, this is a hard situation to get up and walk away from, unless you. I mean, <laughs> unless you've displayed some sort of extreme, formidable thing in the past with this person, they're just going to walk all over you. So, or some formidable part of your. Uh, personality that comes out in the moment and you don't have that you do not have that they've got you thinking that you're crazy that's what this is underneath that eight right there they got you thinking that you're crazy or that you lost money or that you like it was you you did it you remember you 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 know the ten of diamonds anything that you think you've Shit, lost you've misplaced it, that's not the way it is they have taken it Okay, so do y'all see that we have double ten of diamonds on the table? Ten of diamonds. Uh -huh. Ten of diamonds. They're, you see that? They're <laughs> making you think that you lost something, misplaced something. They're making you feel like you're stupid because of it. And all the time, they have it. They took it away. And you're running on a percentage here. There's something to do with like, they're just over halfway of what they're taking from you anyway. Oh my. They're gonna stay until they get the other 40, 50% that they think they can get out of you. Mm. The poison is really thick. You, you think that you're immune. Okay, I'm going to hit you right in the gut with this one. You think that you're immune to the poison, that's, all of this that's going on around you, because you pray, because you're religious, because you've devoted your life to this, because you've been very um, um, straightforward. You're not manipulative, so you think you're immune from you've poison. You've been very and you're balanced, not. you think. You've yeah, been balanced and you're not. in your life. It's eating away at you. You know, and you just don't even know it. You're so naive as to be not even understanding your own self. You mm -hmm. think as long as you pray, as long as you, I don't know what, there's, like I said, I don't know all of the religions that pray to saints or do offerings to saints. There's voodoo, there's Santeria, Catholics, there's a whole bunch of different people. So if it fits you, however it fits you. But you think that that gives you some kind of fortification, some kind of like special, that can't happen to me because the saints are, are looking out for me. And I, I agree, but no, not in this case. Sorry. It's time for you to grow a little backbone. It's time for you to do this, which is called standing up for yourself and taking the blade in your own hand and, and, and then... Whatever happens from there, like she said, you need to be very careful about yeah. this because this isn't the kind of thing that you can just up and go. I've been super naive and everything up until now. You understand how poisonous this person is. You might be in physical trouble, so you can't mm. just. Up you're and peeking do that out. Again. You're beginning to see, but here's the thing: this is what you're afraid of. You're afraid of being seen as a joker. You're afraid of being seen as a joke. So you're trying to keep everything under wraps. So that you don't come across as the laughing stock. That's oh, what... The queen of spades. That's why God gave us brains. You have to start using yours. Oh, no. And sitting back passively in this situation is not good. Because you're going to lose everything. Yeah, if you, you don't you act, think You think that you're praying to whoever it is you're praying to. 
and that this, makes you immune from poison. Yeah, that's what and I was looking not, for. That's immunity. That's not true. That's you don't have true. immunity from poison. Nobody does. That's why I will always stress protection, protection, protection. If you make it to your bed at night, make sure you say thank you. <laughs> And you say thank you to yourself, too, because you're the one who hit the brake fast enough, who, you know, didn't do the thing that, you know, you didn't, you made it through the day. There's a lot of things at play when you make it through the day, every single day, and you lay your head down on the pillow at night. The king of clubs. You're not the only. He's uh, laughing at you. He's going to take everything, and then he's going to walk away. <laughs> and he probably has friends helping him do it, too. Yeah. This is, this person is just. <laughs> Oh, God, there's so many of them like this in the world. But this person is being pointed out to you as pure poison. Um, you already know it. You can pretend you don't, but you already do. Yeah, uh, yeah. whoever's watching this that it resonates with, yeah. you are pretending. You are pretending everything is okay. Everything is fine. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. Everything's the way you want it to be. But it's not. And if it's you not, have you're it, very unhappy. Very unhappy. But you're more worried about what the world is going to see. You're and more worried about what the world is going to see. If you haven't figured out that this person is cheating on you, here's just, look, between this king and this king, you've got six diamonds. And here you've got six pretty little clubs. He's already looking at the next person he's going to go do this to. He's already looking at the person. In fact, she may have a lot to do with this, too. Whoever this girl is right here, she may have a lot to do with why he um, is doing what he's doing in the first place. Throw a little, throw some, you know, woman in the mix sometimes, and these men go absolutely The four nuts. of diamonds. There is a, I mean, and you can sit by and you can play the violin with yeah. your sad song all you want, but you're going to lose what little you have left. If you want to keep, because he's already taken more than half of whatever it is that you're worth. And I'm not saying that you have millions and millions of dollars and he's taken 60% of it or whatever. I'm saying whatever it is that you have, this person is dead set on sticking around until they take everything they can that's not nailed down from you. Okay? You Do you want to go to work and then come home one day and find out that you've been completely ransacked? Your accounts have been cleaned out and your house has been cleaned out. That does happen, y'all. It's, it's not a myth. That kind of thing does happen. There's other people in this, too. You don't really have anyone on your side. Yeah. This person does. This person has the sixes over there and the six over here leading down here. You have a, you have more than one per. Oh. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this was somebody really close to you, the girl in the picture. Ugh. And your um, like your sister or something. Oh, your faith sick. is waning away. Yeah, your faith is waning away all while you're sitting there just playing the fiddle. But yeah, but literally you're fiddling around with this. You're not doing exactly what you know you need to but do. But you know what? Faith is one thing, but faith without action doesn't mean anything you have to you have to move you have to do something and you've been sitting stagnant you're having headaches you're having headaches and you all think you think it's just all because you haven't been good enough and you're not good enough. You're not good enough for this person. Nobody will be good enough for this person in your life. Oh, this person Man, is a woman, psycho. nobody is going to be good enough for this person. This person okay, is a it psycho does not matter. They don't, they, don't, they don't have love in them. They don't know how to They do don't know that. what love is. They don't understand that part of the world. Yeah. So they're, you know, they're all willing to have a so, good time and party and This is a warning read uh, from Hecate. And uh, if you're out there and you're listening to this and this resonates with you any at all or someone you know, then you need to take action. You need to take action now. You need to take action for yourself. You need to do it. Not just prayer. You need to get up and do whatever it is that needs to be done to help yourself. 
Yeah, this whole thing about I need to just pray harder. Uh, what for? What are you actually praying for? Are you praying for this person to change? Oh my goodness, the three are of you, diamonds. Are you praying for this person to change? Look are at that. Are you praying for you to have the wherewithal to get up Until and Until death do us part. Yeah. Oh Is that my what you're goodness. waiting on? That's how you feel. Look, here's The king you. of hearts. That's how you feel. You're like, no, this is you're in you're in that in that oh, um, and generation. The nine of says, clubs. Look at that. We got the married. nine of clubs. I'm staying married. This is my guy. We're married and that's him, all her, whoever it. it resonates. Hmm. The other person in this, your spouse, your significant other, whatever, they already have someone on this uh to take your place, oh, yeah. and this someone is helping them in this situation yeah, that you're in. Definitely. So, you are being used. You are being manipulated. Yeah, there's your queen. Yeah, queen of hearts. There's his queen right there, and it's not you. No. It is not you. And then when the and money is And then the ace of diamonds. And... Oh, my God. Look yeah. at him. When it's all, when she's no more fun and he gets tired of her, he'll do. He'll do her the same way. Uh, but he has help in this, whatever's happening to you. You're hanging on because you think, going back to the beginning, you're hanging on because you think if you just pray hard enough that you're going to get what you want. And that's, I say, okay, everybody makes their own choices. We're saying in this read the cards are saying the yeah. cards are saying Hecatea is saying um no that's not how we're gonna do it and whoever is gonna look at this already knows who Hecate is so it's not like we're telling you something you don't know so whether or not you're Catholic or whatever your belief system is you know who Hecate is Yep, and so it's not hitting you out of the blue completely. Come on. You know who the, the you other, know woman, who the other is. woman is. You know, you know the other woman. You know this is going. They're this a close way. friend of yours. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, mm -hmm. that's so tragic for your significant other to be involved with someone right under your nose, yep. with someone that you know while you're and maybe even care for. While you're pretending you don't see it. You're just going, nope, it doesn't yeah. make any difference to me because you need to I'm, stop praying. And I'm take a praying a look. woman. You need to stop and take a look and because the evidence is right there for you to see. It's right there for you to see. While you're pretending it's not happening, while you're going about your day, while you're going about your prayers to whoever, that person is right there. They're right there in your, in your, uh, what do you call it? Your surroundings, your immediate, your immediate. Your circle. Your circle, exactly. Right, your your circle. circle. Sorry, I was taking a drink. They're in your circle. So, this is a warning read. From Goddess Hecate. And she's saying. To ever this resonates you with. You already know. How this is oh going. My. It's all. I have a feeling that. This is not. Um, I have a feeling. That this is a little. Chastising. I have a feeling that you know. 100% of this read already. You already know. You know who she is. You know how this is going. You know what he's got planned. Um, if anything, he's already told you jokingly about it. I have a feeling you already know. The thing is that he you're would in he denial. would jokingly tell yes, he would because jo he doesn't think that she's smart that enough to figure it out. Yeah. So the thing is, how much longer are you going to pray for what? For him to get God in his life? For him to repent? What is it that you're actually? I'm more interested He's not gonna from Hecate's point of view. I'm more interested in, I can see her going, What to what end? To what end? To what end are you doing this? Um, is it just to keep the significant other that he has over here, your friend, your sister, whoever this person is? Is it just to keep them from going off and being happy? Is it? Is it you're just going to... I, I don't, to what end are you doing this? 
I well, don't think you, you know, know that. either. I don't even think you know that. She may not have figured it I out I don't yet. even think you know that. I think your idealism is, I'm going to pray. Her faith. Her faith. She's relied on her faith. Yes. And it's, it's, you've been relying on it because it's, of course, if you have faith, that's a wonderful thing. Everybody has their thing. But in this situation, it's like, it's, uh, to what end? What, what is, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that this person is miraculously going to give you back money that's already gone? Do you think this person is going to repent, get saved, become the beautiful husband that you want? It's not going to happen. Have a beautiful family together. What? 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 What, what exactly about this person is Let's it see if that we can you get think? A final outcome is going to. What? What about this situation gonna, is going to actually happen? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the two of hearts. If you think about that, I think you'll understand oh. that it, it makes no sense. And the jack. Oh, you of got clubs. some clubs. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you actually think that this person is going to come running back to you. If you can just. Cry you're hold, hard you're enough, holding pray out. hard enough, you're holding out. scream hard enough. Something is like, if I could just emote, if I could just get the, if I could just get this person to understand how much I love them, how much I want, how faithful, how loyal I am. If I could just, uh, you're just throwing it out there, and this person doesn't doesn't care. I I, I don't. It's plain as day. Yeah. This person. The is decisions in, in your court at right now, you know. You may not admit it to yourself yet, but you know yeah, what's going on. The thing about that is it's very easy for somebody like a Libra, because you're an air sign. It's yeah. very somebody it's for somebody like a Libra to say that. I'm a cancer. I know what it means to tell somebody that. It's so easier said than done. When you're like when you just think, okay, because I know how I know what you're thinking. If I can just get them to to understand and have empathy for how I feel, then they'll realize something. There will there will be a connection there. If I could just get this person to calm down and sit down and shut up and listen to me for five seconds, they'll understand. Because I'll be able to have, if can I have the words to, to put it in their ear? It'll go to their heart. It'll open them up. It'll do, I mean, you're, but it's it's not going to work that way. No. This person cannot have empathy for you. Not on the same level. This person doesn't have, it's not an empathetic, it's not something that your emotional energy can infiltrate. It's not going to happen. This person is a, is a, is a, is, is a psychopath. Yeah. They don't have that capacity. It, it's very... But you went into this knowing that they they couldn't give you what you wanted, what you needed. Yeah, but they lied to you and said they could and yada, 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 and everybody gets that. And it's so easy, so much easier said than done. See, uh, we're, telling you, we're telling you that this, there is a new beginning, okay? After all of this, there is a new beginning. You just have to. If you to, want it. Yeah, it's easy to say that. Like I said, it's easy for you because you're like, just drop them and move on. But once you've put, <laughs> once you put time and effort and energy into something, sometimes you're like, I don't want to just leave. I've put, I've invested emotional energy in this. It's difficult to walk away from something when, that you've got emotional energy invested in. It's it's hard when you are when you make emotional connections with people, not just in the head. When you make emotional connections with, with somebody, you made an emotional connection. This other person didn't make an emotional connection with you. No, There's no not connection. At all. Not at all. They've just you flown above the, the surface. They just glided above the surface of the relationship. Yeah, they, there's no, you're not going to touch them with your words. You're not going to cry and they're not going to rescue. I mean, if, no. if you cry, they're not coming to rescue you. Or if they swoop in, it'll be for two seconds and they're gone. This isn't a reciprocal thing. Yeah. You're you're putting all of your energy and faith and prayers and love and you're trying to forge connection with somebody who's 
they can't do it. They're not they're not capable of doing it. No. They're not actually as far as humans go, they're not actually human, if you want to know the truth. You need it's not to, actually a human. But this is going to be a <coughs> conclusion that you've got to come to on your yeah, own. Yeah, it's, it's painful. You can just see the pain all over. You go, you're you're going to have to do I agree. You're going to you, have to do this There is another yourself. beginning for you, Ooh. but whether you're ready to take it or not and walk away from this, you've put a lot of time and a lot of energy into it. And you've put a lot of prayer into it. Yep. You've done. Yep. But you've also done some things that you didn't think were right. Yeah, I think you did. I think that's what this is. Yes. <laughs> I think you did that's some things That's you berating too. yourself right there for things mm -hmm. that you've done to please him. And the green-eyed monster that comes out. You know. So. You're you, very jealous. You're very jealous. Admit it. You're not perfect, okay? You're not, you're, no one's expecting you to be perfect. And you perfect. can't pray that away. No, you can't pray away jealousy and hatred and all that. This, I mean, I don't know why you want to keep this person. So, this person doesn't care about you at all. You're worried, where is the, that joker at right here? You're worried that people are going to see you and think little of you. They already do. Hmm. They already do, and the thing is, they think you're, I think you're, you're stupid for putting up with this. Well, that, yes, but they also don't believe you're as faithful, as they righteous, as yeah. you show yourself to be. And that's going to have to be something and that you need that's to what come you're, to That's with. one of the things that you're afraid of. And that's one so, of the things that you're going to have to... There's a lot for you to deal with here. Yes. And that's one of the things that you're going to have to come to terms with. How much of this crying and yeah, emoting that. is actually real on your part? Because why would you... The reason why Hecate is saying, why? Are, why to what end? What What is it that you want out of this situation? Is you want to be the winner. Just admit it. And if, think about and that. think about it. Exactly. If you do, then you'll realize that what she just said is is a challenge. Maybe, maybe you're... You shouldn't care so much about what other people think, number one. And number two, if you were really as righteous and above all this as you put yourself out to be, you wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah. And just because people scream and cry a lot doesn't mean they feel much deeper than the next person. Well, you can continue with this scenario or you can break free. And what's weird is let it, yourself is it, show. It just stops there. Think about it. Think yeah. about how intriguing that actually is. What's because after, after that? all of this, you've got an ace. An clubs. ace, yes. I'm... That's that's pretty. Do you? That's pretty. Do you really even to me. want this person? Do you want this person? Or do you it, want this are you whole just situation? Holding on just because you you're jealous. You want to you want and to be you want to be made out to look like a saint. The martyr. You want to be a saint. There we go. There's the the whole saintly thing coming yep. in too. So you want to be considered to be saintly too. No. That you Why? stuck it out. Why? Exactly. Why? Do you want to play and that, a martyr? That's what Hecate is the question she's posing to you. To what Why? end? You really don't care. No, you really don't care. You really don't care. About this person. Not anymore. Maybe it started out like that, but now it, you're just doing it out of pure martyrdom. That yeah. Ace of Wands, though, right there, that Ace of Clubs is the last card, and that's really intriguing after a reading like this. Yeah. There's something the saints, waiting for you, but... Yeah, because maybe the Saints really are watching you, and they're thinking, well, she's got some serious stick-it-out power. There's something that's crazy, if you think about it, to have this reading, and then it ends with yeah. that Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. So I'm really going, wow, I... I about you, but I would be more interested in what comes after this situation. Yeah, than the situation you're tired itself. of all this anyway. You're tired of it. You're tired of you're I tired of looking at what you've done to keep yeah, it I going. Think you've done some things that you're you're not happy with yourself. Some 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 things that jealous women do, and 
You're ashamed of things that you've done, and that's, turns you into that's a person. what you're afraid of people seeing. Yeah, it things turns that you into done. a person that you don't even know. Yeah. Things you did, you're like, I would never do that, and I did it. I can't believe I did that. Did I do that? Well, yep. there's a hard lesson here. It's and very you, difficult. You know now, so you can't deny it. What you do after this is up to you. And this is enlightenment. I'm I'm just really more interested. <laughs> Hecate, I wonder if oh that's that's a knight of swords right there. Just to split the deck. There's something uh, I'm just really super interested and then a king of swords. I would be really interested to see what comes after this. Once you get down off the cross and quit pretending to be so much whole. I was just looking at that. Too. <laughs> down off the cross. So much holier than thou. Quit being so much holier than thou. You don't have to play the martyr. Come down off the cross. Um, and something interesting, though. Yeah. Even though this reading is very difficult, it's, it is. And this may be just pre programmed women's bullshit that you learn, you know, from your family, from generations, religion, and all that stuff. Be the praying wife. Be the praying woman, the praying, pray hard, pray. It's like, ah, I would be really interested to see what happens when you come down off the cross, quit being a martyr, and that What's ace waiting kicks for in. You? Yeah, there's I'm something waiting for you right here. I wish this person would call us for a reading. Whoever, <laughs> I'm so interested to see where that goes because you've got a whole, if you can just take this lesson in stride, which believe me, you're not the first woman to act like a murder. And find out that yeah. it means absolutely nothing. It I means mean, nothing most of the point, time. At one point, almost yeah. every woman in the world is going to play the martyr because we're women. We have to stick it out. Yeah. Once you find out, though, that that's like the role that you can put aside, you can quit being um, fake with others, with yourself, with the gods, with the saints, with everybody. You're not happy. And then... Then you really get into some power. I'd love to read your cards, whoever this is. This would be yep. fan. That this would be so much fun to see what comes after. Because you've even got some swords coming out of here. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Take heed is yeah. all I can say. You may Take have heed. Some, you may have some real, especially at this time of year. You may have some. Look at that. Like that turning of that wheel right there. You may have some real interesting awakenings coming up. All right, Ooh. take heed. We hope the right person sees this. Uh, share it if you know someone that this might apply to. Yeah. And I want to say that we've been uh, away for two or three months. Uh, there are so many emails out there. If you uh, send an email and haven't gotten a reply, please resend. I have deleted all of the emails because there was just no going through them and... Yeah. Uh, knowing what Sorry, was out there. Guys. So if you have something, if you want to read or whatever, send yeah, a fresh new is, email. It is that time of year and everybody's kind of stacking up last minute spells, yeah. reads, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right. So take heed and send us an email, fresh email, uh, date it today. Uh, because everything before, there were just so many, like I said, I've just deleted them all. And starting fresh, so uh, let us know if you need something. And until our next read, may your moons always be full. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.